This week's profile is a W. Perry barrel racer from the Mountain State Circuit who won the average at the prestigious Mountain State Circuit Finals last year as a rookie. Let's meet Miss Eileen Choel. I grew up in Laramie, Wyoming, and my grandparents own a ranch up in Sheridan, Wyoming, and my cousins barrel race. And I would go up and, for the summers and I would hang out with them for a couple of weeks and I would watch my cousins barrel race and I liked it and I wish I was like, man, I want to do that sometime. They were entered in a little rodeo that was up there and they, uh, I was like, Grandma, I want to try, you know, please let me enter. And my grandma was like, well, if you can show that you can run the, you know the pattern, like, we'll, we'll let you enter. And so my cousins stayed up all night with me and they, we, we practiced with our little toy horses and we went around the barrels, you know, <laughs> and so we, uh, the next morning, you know, I was like, Grandma, I can do the pattern, I'll show you, you know. And so uh, they let me enter and um, went out there and we had a good time, you know, and I was, I was hooked. <laughs> my mom and dad don't um, compete in rodeo or anything, but they um, were really supportive of me learning how to ride and stuff. So they helped take me to lessons and stuff. And then I did a little bit of high school rodeo and as I progressed with that, you know, I kind of got better with more practice and stuff. So, you know, it was, uh, it's been a long road. It wasn't like it happened right away or anything. So it was just, a lot of work and a lot of people help me. 4-H, I did a lot of 4-H. But I'm a competitive person. If I can compete in something, I'm gonna try and do it. I played basketball and I ran track, um, indoor track, because outdoor track oh, was during rodeo season. <laughs> um, so, but I, I love sports. Um, I shoot trap with my dad and I've always done a lot of hunting and fishing with him and stuff like that. So I spend a lot of time, that's how I like to spend time with my family. So my um, bachelor's is in anthropology and I got it from the University of Wyoming. Um, and I love anthropology. I love doing archeology, span which is what I was hoping to do. And um, I did that all over the summers a lot during college. Uh, and I, I loved it, but I uh, realized I wanted to do something that would be able to let me rodeo, you know? And um, as much as I enjoyed uh, doing archeology span and stuff, when traveling and seeing all those places and everything, it, it wasn't really gonna give me the lifestyle I wanted later on in life. And so I um, was thinking about it. And I was like, well, what am I gonna, you know, what, what, what else can I do, you know? And I love working with my hands. I've been doing leather work, you know, I love welding, I love um, work, doing things like that. And I was like, well, what can I do, you know? And um, I was sitting in the dental chair <laughs> at the dentist getting some work done. And I was like, you know, I think I could do this. <laughs> and so I got to think about it some more, I looked into it, you know, it's a long process. You got to, um, you have to make sure you have the GPA and then you have to have the prereqs and then you do interviews and you um, apply and stuff like that. And so I, um, I am now attending the University of um, Lincoln Dental School. You know, they said that the first year is the hardest, so it gets better after that. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. My husband's Tyler Schull and he, um, he sang to me when he asked me, when he proposed, he uh, got down and he sang, um, say yes. He's saying, say yes. He, I was sort of surprised. And so I, afterwards, I was, I, was, I was just sitting there, and he was like, you gotta say something now. <laughs> I was like, yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, but, you know, he's, um, he's been there for me. We've been dating for eight years now. So, I mean, it's been, we've been together for a long time. He has been the biggest supporter. You know, he, he supports me going to dental school, and he supports me with rodeo. And sometimes when, you know, you, there's always those voices, you know, in the you know in the background being like I don't know if you can do that or you know don't try for that you can't do that and uh, he's always been there whenever I you know get a little bit self-conscious or I'm like man I don't know he's like you know you got this you know I, I support you I love you you know we can we can do this together and he has made it possible um, I don't have a trailer I don't have a truck I have a horse <laughs> and so um, he was like you know we can make this work you know he sat down he's planned out the rodeo schedule he was like we can figure this out we borrowed five trucks and four horse trailers to be able to make it to um, the circuit finals and so we got a lot of support and um a lot of uh working out we the truck or the trailer that we hauled the most is a little bumper pull so um i don't know however it shows that he loves me because uh we put a tarp down in the back and then we just blew up an air mattress and we slept in the um back in the horse part of the trailer on the for most of the rodeo you know and he never complained he slept there and it, it, horse he's not a rodeo person horses aren't his dream but he's always really supported me and uh, made this possible so he sleep 
to sleeping in the back of horse trailers with me. He's made this possible for me. Huh? So he's a, yeah, he's a keeper. <laughs> he puts up with me. <laughs> and like even now, you know, uh, when the weather's a little bit colder, we got a, a truck up and we just lay down in the back of the bed and we sleep in the truck while we're going. So, you know, someday we'll get a living trailer and it'll be that. But right now what's most important is just being able to make it down the road. <laughs>